Let's go, bros! Okay, looks like we're talking about method overloading. Now, methods, they can actually share the same name, but you'd need a, a different set of parameters. A method's name plus its parameters equals a method's signature, and methods must have a unique method signature. Let's take this method, for example, called multiply. So this returns a times b. So what if I would like to multiply more than two numbers, like three numbers? Well, this method is only set up for two arguments. So one thing that we could do is method overload. So we can use the same name, like we can reuse it, but we need different parameters. So to solve this problem, I'm going to create a second multiply method, and this will have a different set of parameters, giving it a different method signature. So let's create a method that has three parameters, a, b, and c. Return a times b times c. And you can see that that problem went away, and this should work. So 2 times 3 times 4 equals 24. And I could just keep on creating more methods. So basically, that's method overloading. Methods can share the same name, but they need different parameters if they do share the same name. A method's name plus its parameters equals the method signature. And methods must have a unique signature. So yeah, that's method overloading. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. If you can, smash that like button, drop a random comment down below, and well, yeah, that's method overloading in C-sharp.